Phillies and Gentle Colts. I'm Scarecrow. And um, I'm doing something I really don't generally do a lot. I'm uh, just going to basically be talking. Yeah. Um, I um, really uh, have no reason to do another uh, Star Wars episode, so I'm just going to be talking over some uh, gameplay of uh, Team Fortress 2. Yay. Mission begins in 60 <coughs> seconds. Ugh, sorry. Uh, I've been drinking Let's a, uh, have drink a, a Pepsi, go at it. half of a Pepsi, and it's kind of gunking up the throat. So yeah, if you can see, I am blue team. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, there was recently just a, a little bit of thing that kind of ticked me off at school. I, basically, there's a lot of things that tick me off at school. So this is one of those little things that I can actually talk about, because it's something I'm comfortable talking about. And one of those guys just said faggots. Ugh. Um, or maggots, I'm not sure which. Uh, but, um, I, uh, recently learned that at prom, a, uh, a, uh, man can take another man to prom as a date. A man can take a woman to prom as a date. A woman can take a man to prom as a date. But women cannot take women to prom as a date. That confused me just a wee bit. Just, like, huh? Okay, so a dude can go to prom with a dude, but, you know... Three, the chick can't two, go to prom the one. chick. What? Go. Um, yeah, that confused me slightly and I missed it. Uh, I was slightly confused by that. I mean, it just seems so rhetorical. But that's the way things are. Um, yeah, that slightly confused me and slightly got me ticked off. Because, you know, I'm actually, if you don't know me, I am pro gay rights. Or homosexual rights because gay means happy. And I am not gay for a because I, it slightly ticks me off. I mean, seriously, it just slightly ticks me off that, you know, there's these stupid little rules always swooping below where it ticks me off. Just, oh, ever so slightly. I have a direct hit, by the way. I'm so good at it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what, other, what else? Oh yeah, something I never really got to do. I never really got to talk about my experiences at Comic-Con. Uh, you guys did not get a lot of footage at Comic-Con for the pure fact of, uh, my phone ran out of memory. And some things. And some of the things were rather stupid and whatnot. But anyway, uh, Comic-Con. Uh, Comic-Con was freaking fantastic. Um, actually, funny story. Um, me and my friend, you know, we're walking along. Uh, we're in, we're in Comic-Con. Right? It's, it's in the, uh, Edwards Dome. Uh, but it, it, we were just walking along, walking along, and the thing's like quite literally where they play hockey in St. Louis, so it's like, yay! Uh, so we got there, uh, we were walking around, and we were like, holy crud! For, such, like, for like a smaller Comic Con, this thing's freaking massive. I'd hate to see what the LA looks like. Oh, yes, I own this guy right here. So, blow him up. There we go. So, yeah. Freaking huge! Like, I'm not kidding you. Uh, the, the thing, uh, it's like freaking about 12, 15 rows of just, or, um, aisles of just panels and artists and, ah, uh, 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 just freaking bigger than I expected. That's not too bad. But, um, yeah. Now, I was actually really over, I was underestimating it, to be honest. I really, really love how it ended up. So, um, uh, it's a funny story yet again. We're walking along, walking along, alright, we need to get back to the story. Uh, we're walking along, and, uh, all of a sudden, like, it, it was in the freaking beginning of it, like, we had just gotten into, like, the, uh, little bridge from the one place to the Edward Dome. We just gotten into the Edward Dome. I look over, there's a guy, um, uh, who's selling, like, paintings, he's got a wall of paintings, and I just see an entire row, horizontally, of, um, anthropomorphic My Little Pony, just... Like, yeah, you just, it's just, you, you know those pictures where the women are in seductive poses and they're wearing, like, nothing but, like, underwear? Yeah, that's what, that's what that was. It was, it was like, uh, the, it, it's quite, I quite, look, I got a bone. Yeah, I walked the ninth doctor walked around <laughs> with the bulge in his pants all day, because that one photo of rarity. Uh, but, I, I was extremely surprised that... There was such a big audience of My Little Pony there, like, I saw quite a few people dress up as Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Twilight, I saw an uh, R63 Applejack, dude was freaking awesome, he had a freaking tattoo of all the main sixes, uh, 
skitty marks, but it was like in a wave to make it look different. It was freaking brilliant. I loved it. Oh, dude, it was so great. Oh, yeah, and uh, one of the, uh, crap, I can't remember if you me, but one of the artists from uh, the My Little Pony comic series, she was there. I got her, I, I got a commission from her, like a commission photo that she had copied down, like she drew it and then she copied it down and printed it out. Yeah, I really don't care that it was printed, or, uh, printed uh, out. I, it's freaking pretty. It's Octavia and uh, I think someone's OC. Um, oh, someone's OC playing the saxophone. Hey, I'm not the only one who plays the saxophone. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I have it framed on my wall currently, and I love it. Too bad. I seriously have no idea how much I love that picture. I almost adore it. Um, what else? Ah, uh, yes, something else I can talk about. Uh, we were also, uh, I, um, had just learned that, uh, uh, they were selling like those, uh, little things put over your eyes when you sleep, like your, uh, eye blinds, or whatever. Yeah, I just learned they were selling those, and, uh, someone directed me to that one. Oh, sweet. So you go there. Uh, this chick sells art and whatnot, as well as the eye fold blind things. So I was uh, going ahead and buying one. Alright, I'm buying one. And all of a sudden, I see a picture of the the uh, tenth doctor, the ninth doctor, both in speedos, and they were hugging and kissing. I was like, "What the hell is this shit?" Uh, like it shocked me, completely shocked me. It was so well drawn. I, j I, uh, I'm just mind boggled by it. I'm mind fucked by it. And um, the chick said it was a Japanese um, thing. Yeah, damn, I can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna try to have to look that up. It's actually gonna start pissing me off because I don't know it. Pax But uh, I'm gonna have to look that up. It's starting to piss me off, but I don't know what it's called. It's a Japanese word. Uh, it's for a male on male couple. And uh, I, 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 I'm mind bottled by the freaking artistic talent that went to Comic Con. If you couldn't tell, I'm freaking speechless. Oh, man, it was great. I saw so many good cosplayers. Like, I get, like, you know when you go to Comic-Con, you expect, like, the occasional... No. You expect the occasional uh, cosplayer? No. At freaking the Comic-Con I went to, 75% of the people dressed the fuck up. Whether it be... There weren't... And the best part of it is, there wasn't any bad cosplayers. All of them were freaking beautiful. Like, there were freaking odious keys there. There were clone troopers, Jedi! Uh, what else? I saw some doctors there. I saw a lot of 4th doctors, 10th doctors, 11th doctors. And I saw another 9th doctor! Oh my gosh, I saw another 9th doctor! Someone else watches the 9th doctor other than me! Ah! Oh. Um, yeah, that. And I got a, um, I got also got a, some posters from this guy that came from a website I know and love. It's called Draw Ponies. I might link it in the description. It's called Draw Ponies. And by, they make some of the best My Little Pony pictures. And it's freaking great. I, I love all of their artwork. It's, it's great, it's great. And I can't aim for crap, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I adore it. I, I adore Draw Ponies. It's freaking great. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah. From the Draw Ponies thing, I meant to tell you guys what I got. Um, from Draw Ponies, I got a picture of Minuet, or Colgate, as some of you people know him. Her. I said him. Damn it, someone slapped me. Thank you. Uh, I, as some of you know her by Colgate, but I call her Minuet, because that's just the name they gave her, and that's what I'm stuck with. It's stuck in my mind. I can't get it out. I got a picture of her and some adorable socks. And it was signed by Rina Chan. And Rina Chan is the, if you're for those of you who don't know, is the girl who voices Minuet in, on YouTube. She does some... I, I truthfully honestly believe that that is her voice. And I don't want anyone to ruin it for me. <laughs> I freaking love it. I love her voice. She does a bunch of other ponies, but... Uh, her Octavia works actually really good, but... Not as good as the uh, person who I believe voices her in real life. Okay, um... Not saying that she's not a good voice actress, she's an amazing voice actress. I would hire her in a heartbeat if I could, but I don't have any money, so... <laughs> anyway! Um... Got a picture of her in socks, it's freaking adorable. I guarantee you if I hung that up, my mom f would think I'm a clopper. <laughs> and, oh yeah, that, and uh, while we're talking about clop, I don't. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm weird, but I'm not that weird. Um, uh, I actually... Some people at my school, um... 
Not my friend Jacob, but another Jacob that goes to school. Uh, said, do you clop? And I'm like, well, I play clop, and I play quop. Clop is quop, quop is not clop, because quop is not a clone of clop, but clop is a clone of quop. And he was like, wait, hold what? I'm talking about masturbating to my little pony. Like, oh, wait, no, 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 I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I know it's freaking weird and all, but I'm not that weird. Yeah. Literally, I told him that. Um, so, uh, I, I, I got asked at school if I clopped. So, yeah. School just got a little bit weirder for me. <laughs> Alright, what else weird happened? Um, yes, I also got a picture of, uh, Brayburn in a sex pose. Um, like, I might... Uh, no, I'm not gonna take a picture of it and put it on the screen, because I'm too lazy. But, uh, it, it's just, uh, if I were to go gay for any of the ponies, it'd be Brayburn. And only Brayburn. Not saying that I'm, like, uh, I, 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 I like... To be perfectly honest, I don't consider myself a pansexual. For the pure fact of pansexualism is leaning towards um, transvestites, and I think transvestites are a little weird, but I ain't, I ain't judging, I ain't judging. You're just slightly odd. So what you gonna do? We're all odd. I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're all weird a little bit. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I got all. I also got a few other posters. I got a picture. I got a poster of Best Pony, Octavia. I'm gonna have to. I don't have some of them hung up because I'm getting a new bed. Because I currently have a loft bed. I'm gonna get a new bed and I have it lower to the ground. So again, um, I'm gonna have a lower bed. Uh, and I'm gonna be able to hang stuff above it. So yeah, I might put my TV above my bed. Um, but yeah, other than that, what I'm going to do. Is I am going. Believe it or not, I am going to not get a job because I will remain unemployed forever. Oh, that guy's uh, flashing us. There we go. Um, yeah, I will remain unemployed forever uh, because I just I, I I it's hard to explain. I live in a part of the country where really the only jobs available are Taco Bell and farming and. Considering I hate people and I hate farming, um, there you go. I just can't do it. For those two reasons, I hate people and I hate farming. Like, uh, it'd probably get to the point where I'd do something extreme to get fired from either of them. Because I really, really, really hate people and farming. Like, people are stupid. Now, if you're individually listening and think I'm talking about you, I'm not talking about you. The individuals rather smart, but people in general are stupid. Thanks for the and as well, individual people can be stupid, but most of the time they aren't. Individual people have a tendency to be very, very intelligent and smart. But guess what? Individual and not individual people. A bunch of people together in a group, which is called a mob, by the way. They are idiots. Unless you're talking about a bunch of geeks and nerds who go to Comic Con, in which case they're rather intelligent, funny, and awesome. As well as Comic Con. Uh, go back to Comic Con. I saw a dude who literally was shaggy. Like, dude had the walk, the talk, the run, uh, the, the demeanor, the dance, he had, he had the clothes, the shoes, everything was perfect about him, and he was shaggy. He was Shaggy from Scooby Doo in a nutshell. Like, the dude, I literally had to call him Shaggy because I didn't know his name, but he was Shaggy. He had the personality, like, he had everything right. He was being Shaggy. At that moment, he was Shaggy. I don't know why I keep shooting, by the way. Um, but yeah, he was Shaggy and I loved him. He was my man crush. And I got blown up. Um,. Yeah, he was my man crush for Comic-Con. Uh, okay, what else did I see there? Oh yeah, there was a tower of t-shirts, which actually intrigued me, because I looked and I counted. There were, in fact, 38 My Little Pony themed Good shirts user, that either came from Wheelo Fine or Redbubble, or any other miscellaneous site that I've been missing. So yeah, My Little Pony. I didn't think it would have been a big part of Comic-Con, but hey, it's a comic, it's part of pop culture. Hey, it's fine. Um, it's part of pop culture. And he got owned, by the way. 
It's part of pop culture, it's a comic, people love it. Apparently, the Brony fandom is a lot bigger than I thought, because, you know, it's at freaking Comic-Con! 38% of Comic-Con was my little freaking pony. Whether it be an adult variant or, um, what? Uh, adult variant for the kids, I don't know. Oh yeah, and surprisingly, there are a lot of kids at Comic-Con! Holy crud! I saw at least, like, a couple hundred knee-high children. I was like, holy crud, I didn't know Comic-Con was this big for the children. Like, I, I was actually extremely shocked by the amount of children at Comic-Con. Um, uh, one of the little kids. He was in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle show, and he had the, uh, little nunchucks. I really wish I got a recording of it. This is so freaking adorable! <laughs> it was so... Adorable! I about urinated myself. I was like, oh, it's so cute, I'm gonna pee myself. And I accidentally did a little bit. Which is why I had to go, go to the hotel room for change. Anyway. So yeah, that was adorable as hell. And I get raped in a corner and just watch. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, Comic Con is freaking great. If you have not gone and you're hesitating to go, freaking go! I swear, if you, if, if you, because you don't know is a reason you're not going to Comic-Con, just, 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 just go away, just go, go away now, because that's not a valid reason. Comic-Con is the best place in the world for any geeky nerd, for like me, okay? That's just the fact. It's the best place ever. And I'm gonna go again next year, and it's gonna be freaking bigger! And I really hope that one, the best stand there is gonna be there again, because they said they were on the, um, the sidelines about the it, because they weren't making a lot of money from it. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy everything, one of everything you have, because I like you guys. I ended up spending a total of 50 bucks. Like, 50 bucks. I brought around 350 there. That, that's a good chunk. So, yeah. Uh, it's just, those guys were, the, 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 they were awesome. I stutter thinking about how epic they were. Because they didn't do anything big. They didn't do anything flashy, bland, new. Not bland. They, they did not do bland. Um, they didn't do anything big, flashy, new. Um, they had a bunch of small, clever. And this is why I like them. They were clever. They were clever, 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 clever little bastards. And that's why I like them. Um, like, uh, one of their little mini-comics they had was about how, um, you know how in the show, in the superhero shows, the, um, the truck drivers seem to get the shaft on everything? Like, they're the ones who get their, uh, shit blown up the most. Yeah, they did a comic about that, and I've read it. It's freaking brilliant. Like, it's, uh, there was this, uh, super villain, this superhero who's a chick. The super villain was, like, some, uh, fat Mexican dude, I don't know. Being racist here. Um... Slam the uh, superhero chick against the windshield of the truck, and the truck goes, ooh, dead ass. All of a sudden, superhero chick grabs the Mexican dude, throws him against the window, and it's Mexican hairy butt, and he's like, oh no, please. I, why? He goes, oh no, no, there's no, there's no unsee button for life, and it's freaking brilliant! I love it, it's great. But uh, anyway, other than that, Comic Con was bloody freaking great. I can't stress that enough. If you haven't gone to Comic Con yet, go now! You like, don't go now, because it's not up yet. But go as soon as you can. Buy the three-day ticket pass. Bring yourself for roughly $400. And you will have the time of your freaking life. Best fun you'll ever have. Ever. Um, what else am I going to talk about at home? Uh, other than that. Other than that, life has gone pretty good for me. I hope life has gone good for you guys as well. I really, I really, really, really do hope that. Because if my viewers are doing well, that means um, they're watching more, uh, you're in a good mood, you're laughing more, and I, that, that's why I started YouTube. Like, I've noticed I've gotten an influx of subscribers for some strange or odd reason. I don't know why. But, uh, you know, I do this for you guys, really. I, I don't do this for myself, I don't do it for the money, because YouTube pays you shit. Um, literally, I only made... Oh, wait, hold on, nope. Ha ah, ha ha ha. I've read my terms and conditions, so I'm not allowed to tell you how much money I make. Oops. I about did that. I about broke the terms and services. I've made very... Okay. Here's the thing. You all are probably asking yourselves, how much money does he make? And with every other job, you gotta tell... You, you got It comes out with the same answer. They pay me not enough. They don't pay me enough, ever. Every person who's ever had a job, ever will tell you, they don't pay you enough. 
like these soldiers in this game. They don't get paid enough to do this, but they do it anyway. It's not enough. They don't get paid enough. We don't get paid enough. Everyone doesn't get paid enough. But unfortunately, the economy and every sh all that mundane shit like that is just in the shit hole. You know? Everything's just bad. But um, I truthfully, sincerely, sincerely hope you guys are having luck fortune in your lives because. Currently, um, I've cleaned my room, and I've been depressed. Um, if you're wondering why I've been depressed... Oh yeah, this guy deflects rockets, by the way. It's gay. Uh, not happy with that. Makes me angry, because he kills me. Uh, uh, yeah, but, um... Uh, I'm a teenager. I use gay in, in sort of a, in offensive manner. I can't tell, but that's the way I was raised. That's where... It's like, everywhere I go. It's just, I'm sorry. But, um, I've been depressed recently. Um, I've been in a little bit of a shit mood all the time. Uh, my sister ate my my car driving home, and that pissed me off. Just, oh, I don't let anyone eat in her. Like, yeah, you know, I, I'm the least likely person you'd think to can make a connection with a vehicle, but I've made a connection with my Mustang. Uh, her name is Tavi. And I named her Tavi. Uh, she is a nice girl. She gets me where I need to go. And I love her. My sister ate in her, and it pissed me off. Because I don't like crumbs in my car! There's that yelling sign of me y'all want. Oh god, I said y'all. Someone slapped me. Thank you. Ugh. Damn. Uh, just, uh, hearing the end of the video. God damn it. I want to talk so much. I'm sorry I'm ranting. Because this is technically a rant. But, uh, yeah. One thing I can say to you guys is that um, uh, a lot of people, I don't know why, a lot of people do like cleaning, and I don't understand it. Cleaning puts me in a bad mood, and when I'm in a bad mood, I get very depressed. I'm a very depressing person even when I'm in a bad mood. So, uh, yeah. I was in a bad mood, I was depressed, I've just been in a rut recently. I kind of feel like i got to do something different, which is why I'm doing this. This has already put me in a good mood. To get yourself out of a rut, do something extreme. Do something that's not you. Do something um, that will uh, to change your mind. Something that'll ch uh, uh, just do something different. If you're in a rut, try getting out of it by twisting the wheel as hard as you fucking can, and then you might get out of it. Because um, I'm doing this. I haven't done this before. I don't think. And it's really gotten me out of that rut. You know, this has gotten me in a good mood. You know, not playing and talking has actually been a good thing. Because when I play and talk, I can't think, and I do poorly. Like doing- oh shit, my uh, sack just- But yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, that's another story for another time. My sack. Um, uh, you know, no, I think I got- yeah, I got time. So, me and my friends go to this comic book store that's in the city that's about an hour and a half away. It's freaking worth it, because there's a comic book store there. Um, they, uh, we were recently doing Dungeons and Dragons, and um, I, had, I got the smart idea of- I want a bag to put my dice in. So I was looking around, and I saw this metal chain bag to put your dice in. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. This is mine. So yeah, I now have a metal sack. And uh, the string kind of came undone on it. So I got kind of got to do it harder now. Uh, so yeah, uh, the entire time my friends were over playing Dungeons and Dragons, I was like, hey, hey, touch my sack. And I keep doing this, if you can hear it. I jungle it, jangle it in my hand, and they'd be like, oh, dude, you're so fucking gay. I'm like, yeah, you know I am. Because I am a bisexual, I mean. Don't get me wrong, I have my preferences, I prefer girls more, but if I run into a dude that I like, I will go out with him. But, uh, there's no one around here that I like, so I'm not dating. Unless I meet a nice foreign exchange student, which ain't gonna happen, or if I meet a nice chick in college that isn't from around here that understands my humor. Oh shit, they deflected a rocket at me again. But, uh, if uh, it's just dating. Oh wow, how did it get to dating? Uh, yeah, I have I have back to around. But yeah, I, do, I did thoroughly enjoy this. Expect more of these, because I actually do quite like talking to you guys, you know. I like uh, reaching out, uh, telling you guys about me, asking you guys questions, actually. I will enable comments for this, and I want you guys Mission to tell me, how have your lives seconds. been doing? If you are a, um anonymous Five, person watching four, this video, sign three, in, subscribe, rewatch the video, four. you know. And, uh, uh, but yeah, uh, go ahead, you know, get yourself, like, a YouTube account, subscribe, like, you know, whatnot, that'll, that good shebang. Other than that, I really don't have anything else to say. Um, it's been, it's been fun talking to you guys. 
So, uh, I've been Scarecrow, and I say, Torah.